What's up guys, Malachi here. Today, I wanted to talk about sports culture. Let me just get this out there. I hate sports culture in America. I hate it because I don't understand it. I wish I didn't have to involve myself with this stupid culture, but I do, because I'm a man, and more importantly, I'm in sales. Don't get me wrong, I do not hate sports at all. In fact, at growing up, I played all kinds of sports and was pretty athletic. Do I think that athletes are overvalued and overpaid? Yes, but that's not really the point. Now, being that I am a man, this is typically how men start conversations with other men they don't know. They talk about sports, or more specifically, the game. I cannot believe how many potential friendships and social interactions have just gone completely to shit because of these stupid questions. Did you catch the game last night? I immediately think, fuck, what game? Fuck, what sport? Now, I will typically respond with something like, nah, I was busy. Or, I'm not a big f blank fan. Now, one of two things will happen when you respond with a dismissive answer like the ones I just used. First scenario, the person just kind of walks away. Conversation over. This person now thinks that you are a boring loser that is not worth conversing with. I'm perfectly fine with this scenario. Sports talk and at stats and shit is the most mundane thing that I can imagine, and I openly dread every conversation that revolves around this garbage. The problem is, though, with networking and opportunities. If I have to talk to a superior of mine at work, or a client, or something like that, the conversation immediately starts with, how about them whatchamadoos? Did you see that last exciting point that they scored? I usually have to play along at this point, and I really suck at playing along. The conversations do not start with any other interest or hobby, news story, plans, nope. Just f stupid fucking sports talk. I've had superiors cut conversations short with me just because I clearly didn't know what the fuck I was talking about when it came to bullshitting, talking about the game last night, or last week, or whenever the fuck it was going on because they're always fucking happening. It blows my mind that a person's perspective view of you can perpetually alter just because you don't share the same time-wasting hobby. I thoroughly believe at this point in my life, I have straight up thrown away career opportunities because I don't give a shit about watching sports. The second scenario is they talk about the game any fucking way. Nobody picks up the hint because you can't drop a big enough hint without looking like an antisocial weirdo. So if I say nah, they say, oh man, you missed a crazy game, or a close game, or a frustrating game, or some other shit like that that I don't listen to. So they will continue to talk to me about why the game has somehow changed their lives or dictates how their day is going to go. Eventually, throughout this one-sided conversation, they will discover that I don't like watching sports, and the same outcome of the first scenario will play out. The first scenario is inevitable when talking about sports and you don't give a shit and trying to shift the conversation to news, movies, video games, hobbies, or politics has a glimmer of hope if you are talking one-on-one -on -one with someone. But in a group of sports fans, not a fucking chance. That's why I hate sports culture so fucking much. The whole my team, your team shit. If you didn't like a team before they were good, you're a fair weather fan. The judgment if you don't follow every game or know every fucking stat. This is the craziest thing to me. People legitimately enjoy reading stats. Just fucking numbers about strikeouts, shots on goal, or yards ran. What the fuck? Why? Sports talk is a language that I cannot understand, and I have no interest in learning. Now, I know I'm shooting myself in the foot by not knowing these things, but I honestly don't care anymore. I try to get into it. I watch games every now and again, but watching athletes play sports is tedious and feels like work. And you know what? It is fucking work. People have legit hobbies of watching sports and take pride in the stats that they know and can vomit out on a whim. These people are brimming with anticipation when it comes to spewing these useless numbers. Whenever they can. I always wondered if these stat junkies would absorb nearly as much of this information if they had to, no one to talk about it with. Like if sports were not so prevalent in our culture, would these people still read every single game score and scrutinize every single numerical value for fun? Or better yet, for themselves? The craziest thing is typically the people that care the most about stats, or their team, or the game, are the least athletic men that you will meet. It is almost directly proportional. The people that I know that play sports or are in decent shape don't care that much about stats, or if I watched the game. 
Those stats viewers are also the ones that wear the jerseys to work and decorate their cubicle with paraphernalia or do the most pathetic thing that I can imagine, which is getting their teams tattooed on themselves. I already made a video about what I think of tattoos, but spoiler alert, they are the worst. And then there is fantasy sports. Who could forget about fantasy sports? This, to me, is the lamest thing imaginable. You have officially made a game out of numbers. Fucking awesome. If you are like me and don't know much about fantasy sports, uh, basically you have a team of athletes compiled of different teams, and when they do different shit, you get points. I refuse to participate in this, even though it is somewhat a cool thing to do these days. Hold up. When did fantasy anything become cool? These same people that made fun of the kids that played D&D are now playing their own little lame-ass fantasy game, and guess what? Since sports culture is so per pervasive in America, they are not considered losers, even though it's essentially the same thing. Then you have athletes that get out of crimes and get paid millions of dollars just because they're good with a ball. What the fuck? How did these people get to be praised so highly and get away with such scandalous crimes? Alright, that's all I got for now. Just had to vent a little. If you guys like sports or hate sports, feel free to tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. Also, feel free to subscribe if you would like to hear more of my thoughts. Thanks, guys. Peace out.